Namaste, soul family, sky goddess. Yeah, Concia. So, <laughs> this is going to be a very quick and spicy reading. It's getting dark here in the Hermitess uh, cave. Um, never mind that, the messages will be transmuted nonetheless. Just listen to my voice. So, this is going to be a very quick and spicy reading. Um, for um, all the signs, as a matter of fact, okay? Because this is uh, frequencies, energies, waves, and current, okay? So, um, this is a new intuitive deck that I uh, created via inspiration of the Great Spirit. And um, I feel like it's going to be um, really cool to use, you know, based on, you know, the elements attached to this deck, okay? <laughs> So, I'm going to start with the first sign, Aries. So, still using my dice, okay? Uh, dice and cards. Or is it, yeah, dice and cards. Okay, dice and cards. Cards and dice. Okay, whatever y'all see in the bio section. <laughs> okay. For Aries, we've got 4-4. Four, four. Okay. So we've got four for green, y'all. I don't think you're going to see this. It's getting so dark. Oh, you can't see. And we've got four for red. Don't think the other signs will be able to see theirs because I want to do this quick and spicy for all the signs. So this could, you know, I've got four for, you know, root chakra and four for heart chakra. Getting moon in cancer. Yeah, we are currently moon in Aries or is it moon in Taurus? Okay, so this could be, you know, pertaining to something. The frequency that now surrounds you is going to, you know, create a ripple, you know, that's going to trigger something that's going to happen whilst the moon is in Cancer. Or you could have your moon in Cancer. Okay, spirit. Okay, what it is. Okay, and also, if you are um, in year four, okay or you're eight this is definitely a message for you okay so if you're a year four this year like 31 um then definitely this is gonna be for you 31 uh let me see 40 okay and if you want to add that you know if you're gonna be you know 26 if you are 26 Okay, that's equal to 8, just the same. Or if it is that you're 22, you know, or like I stated, 31. Okay, so 4 and 8. Okay, those are the years that we're working with. So we're working with also, could also be, you could also be um, bearing the frequency of the year of the rabbit. At, uh, or the year of the goat, okay? So you connect the dots, okay? Okay, what messages have you for Aries? Frequencies 4 and 8, okay? Or, you know, you could be, you know, planning on getting pregnant. Oh, fuck. Planning on getting pregnant, or you could currently be pregnant, or you're going to be getting pregnant. When the moon is in, you know, cancer, because that's the frequency right there, you know, moon and cancer, baby frequency, baby making frequency, okay. All right, messages for Aries, frequency four and eight, okay, I'm going to just take four, yeah, I'm going to take four, okay. A walk to remember, you're not gonna, yeah, you can kind of see. A walk to remember, okay, that's the first one. The originals, <laughs> the originals, okay, beautiful, okay, that's a frequency y'all on. Damn, seriously, Futurama, I'm getting all animations here, so you could be <laughs> binge watching all of these films. <laughs> Okay, or you got them in your catalog, your movie catalog, okay? And then we've got 999, end game. That's the synchronicity there, okay? Beautiful. So I'm getting beautiful new beginnings for you. You could be dealing with someone who's got Sagittarius, 
highly aspected whether it's you know frequency year okay um they could you know um rule under the monkey frequency okay born year nine okay mm -hmm. as well as you know some of you areas you could be you know in your year eight which is transformation okay and you are about to endeavor upon year nine okay and nine says end game okay so you could be approaching a very you know um silent introspective year you know preparing for a new beginning okay because after endings comes new beginnings you know it's a continuous cycle like the water cycle everything you know frequencies energies waves and um, currents and they're all cycles so we've got a walk to remember and I'm also getting you know six to eight you could have been born during them hours or something's gonna happen you know uh, during the hours of six to eight in the morning okay okay you could have Virgo rising okay Libra or Leo okay your sun sign could be Aries, Pisces, or Aquarius. Okay, so what is a walk to remember? I'm, I'm getting a very mysterious, uncanny frequency here. Okay. Not one to be taken aback about. Okay. But I'm also getting, you know, something future, something ancient. Okay. And something futuristic okay and for some of you this could be someone from the past that's coming up who you gonna you know either get married to you know procreate with but you know there is a future for you and this person now the originals okay if you all are familiar with that a buyer film um this isn't someone from you know the recent past so this could be definitely someone from a past life that you have a beautiful connection with what is a walk to remember yeah because if you know that film also with Mandy Moore and Jane West I think his name is it's a beautiful film it was like oh my god that guy okay so I'm getting this beautiful storyline so that guy Shane West and Mandy Moore Mandy Moore was like a geek or a nerd let me say a nerd in high school like, yeah high school and um, he was like a jock and um, not saying that she was in love with him in love with him but she just was like an earth angel who was just so nice to everyone and at first he wasn't so nice to her but um, I if you like I don't quite remember what happened but the universe pushed them or propelled them towards each other some you know weird you know series of events and you know you know he started to fall in love with her you know when she eventually died that's you know that's what sucks okay but I'm getting like this is you know past life regression this is not recent past this is someone you, you've known in a previous you know incarnation um, and that is why it's so ancient and old. So it's coming up back now, okay? Okay, this could be a twin flame, okay? They're coming back into your life, end game. You just... <laughs> okay, a walk to remember. Okay, for a walk to remember, we've got diamonds are forever. Diamonds are forever okay diamonds for are forever but this came out inverted okay and nightmare on elm street jesus christ <laughs> okay insidious is at the bottom of the deck okay let me let me try and decide decipher what spirit is trying to say so we got okay so this is someone from the past or this is someone looking in at you like a diamond Aries ok 
okay? But I feel like you are like a nightmare. <laughs> Aries. Or someone here could be possessed. Are you possessed, Aries? With that moon in cancer, are you containing a spirit within you that is tormenting you? So the reason why that diamond in um diamonds are forever came out in verse it's like but now I feel like you're with someone different, Aries, and this person is like a nightmare. You feel me? I feel like this person is infectious, could be, you know, physically sick. Or this person, um, are evil. They're evil. I feel like you're dealing with a, a very evil um person, Aries. And another message, this beautiful soul that is, you know, interested in you, they're a diamond, but I feel like you are being tormented by them. I feel like you feel as though you're being tormented. I feel like you're having dreams and visions about this person. Could be an Aquarian, okay? One of a kind. So it's like this person is like a vampire with the originals, you feel me? They're like a vampire. See, the originals. So, I feel like maybe you left something that was beautiful, you know, in the past. And you're now going through, you know, a hard time. And as well as for some of you, <clears throat> um, this diamond, you know, is like raging havoc in your life. Giving you nightmares and shit. <laughs> So, okay, it's like they're a vampire. Could be an, you know, a succubus, incubus character, okay? This is, like, taking a little bit longer than I anticipated, okay? And, you know, this could be someone you live with. But, you know, this cancer frequency or someone you're married to. You're married to the devil, I'm getting for some of you. <laughs> That's a frequency surrounding you. You, the person that you're with, they're possessed. Okay, they're like a vampire. And for another um, group of you, someone this new love interest they've got, they 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 bit you. Damn. Okay. So for the originals, I've got eighteen hundred to twenty hundred hours inverted. Jesus Christ, this is a Pisces rising. You're in trouble. <laughs> Pisces rising, okay? As well as Aries rising, Aqua rising, you know, one down, one up. So, you know, this ain't you, though, because it didn't came out in your, um, on your end. You're dealing with someone who's got sun in Virgo, okay? Or Leo, uh, sun in Leo, okay? Yeah. Sun in Virgo, okay? Pisces rising. So I feel like um, you think someone here is a vampire. You feel like they've bitten you. Um, so we've got, yeah. Okay, so Grand Reset, okay? And this came out in their direction. So this person, they are about to start a new Saturn cycle, okay? It's like, like I said earlier, this is someone you definitely, you know, knew, you know, had a relationship connection with in a previous incarnation, uh, okay? Previous incarnation. And they're back. Hell is this. You remember in the first season of the originals when motherfuckers came back on the scene? They were like raging havoc and shit. Well, not all of them, but. So I feel like this diamond, okay, is raging havoc. Nightmare on Elm Street kind of shit. Okay, but th this person, okay, I'm getting a very ancient frequency from them, and that's why they're so powerful. I'm getting a lot of power here. Okay, what is this Futurama? Once upon a time, how is this? What is this Futurama? 
frequency about, okay? Also, some of you are very nostalgic, thinking about the past. Okay, maybe you used to watch Futurama with this person. Or some form of animation, you know. But that bomb up, apparently. Okay, what is a future, Futurama frequency? So, yeah, you could be reminiscing a lot. You could be in your feelings a lot with that 4-4. Four, four, a lot of cancer in frequency. Okay. Also, this could be your mother, the original, someone old. Okay. I'm more getting like a love interest. Could be ref reflecting though. Maybe someone recently passed. Could be, you know, someone elderly or aged. Okay, for Futurama, I got Volcano. Spitfire. <laughs> Sagittarius frequency that came out inverted so definitely you are you are reminiscing on the past but I feel like you're ready to move forward into the future okay so you know Yeah, you're reminiscing on the past. Could be this, you know, Pisces person, Pisces, Virgo, Leo person, um, Aquarius, Aries. Also, I got. I feel like the the past is tormenting you, you know, because I feel like this person was a good person, and that is why you're introspecting so much. Okay, and I feel like you hurt this person really bad, and it's giving you nightmares. That's another message coming through okay so and i feel like this person they are off to a new beginning and you know that's what's really tormenting you okay um but you, you know it is time to move towards the future okay and getting someone is really hot really hot could be like sexually okay and um, earthquake so you're dealing with a Virgo Sag okay earthquake and volcano okay so this person was like lava Oh, you, 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 you used to watch Futurama with this person. That's that sad frequency watching, you know. Yeah, they're very sad frequency here. So it's like you used to watch, you know, Futurama with this person, but. You know, you just, it's a very simple reading for some. Some, it's more deep, like Inception, uh, Insidious Deep, Nightmare on Elm Street Deep. Okay. Okay. As well as, you know, I feel like for some of you, this could be, you know, a Virgo Sagittarius who's dead, who's, you know, you know, dead. You're in the future now, and, um, could be in the future with a Gemini, Pisces, I guess. Or a new love interest, Pisces. Okay. But I feel like whilst you are, you know, going through this rough patch, I feel like this, you know, you know, Pisces, Virgo, Sag, Aquarian, you know, they are off to a new beginning okay so i feel like you're you're seeing that something has come really come to an end okay all right last card 999 that synchronicity i got x-men okay y'all won't be able to see this it's so dark now i've got x-men and i've got 369 balance okay so I feel like you are, you know, going to find your bearings here. 
Yeah. You got thunderstorms change Aquarius frequency, Uranus Aquarius frequency at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like um it's time to move on, like I said. To move on, you know, to the future. Is something ended okay and you know a lot of times things end and we, we are unaware but you are you know aware now that something has ended okay and you're accepting that okay I feel like maybe you were you know a bit tormented but new energies are coming in with the, you know Saturn in Aquarius you know there are new lessons to learn okay and um I feel like such sad, hefty frequency. But it's healing. It's just gonna dissipate. It's gonna fade. That's what I'm getting, okay? As well as I'm getting for some of you, all of this work is gonna come to an end because all you need is balance, and that's what you're gonna get. Sleeping Beauty came out inverted. Okay, I was, you know, clarifying the X-Men. And once upon a time, so you actually came out, so you wanted to come out. So, Sleeping Beauty, once upon, once upon a time, inverted. Okay, so you're working with, you know, this is like a fairy tale. With the once upon a time. And that's why the X-Men came out, because that's supposed to, you know, mark weird shit, you feel me? Talking and feeling and seeing weird shit, you know? Yeah. So someone you're dealing with or you were dealing with is really magical. Excuse me. See, I like, take that as an omen. It's not like I wanted to sneeze bar too, you know? So, yeah, you're dealing with someone magical, Aries. Aries rising. Okay, I'm getting strongly. A sleeping beauty character. Okay, someone is asleep. You know, apparently. How did the story of Sleeping Beauty go again? She had to be kissed by the prince to wake up. So this is like some X-Men shit. So I feel like it's a similar story here. Yeah. Someone needs the kiss of life, not the kiss of death. Could be the kiss of death, a beautiful death to resurrect. So someone needs a kiss of death. <laughs> okay. And I feel like... Oh, I'm getting such a beautiful message here as well, okay? I feel like all someone needs to do here is to, to get balance, okay? Which is some weird-ass X-Men shit. To end the Nightmare on Elm Street kind of shit is th this Aquarian, okay? That you're talking to, you're reaching out to, or you're trying to reach out to, or someone from the past. They've got the key. Okay, so maybe a demon bit you, Aries. <laughs> you need, you need, okay, you need healing, okay? But I hope you don't use this person. So something ended and, you know, this diamond in the rough, they chose, you know, to, for they chose a new beginning, Okay. Over the past, I'm seeing that that this Virgo Sag, okay, or right, this could be who they chose over you. Um, I 
yeah, they're looking towards the future. But like I said, for some of you, all you or this person needs is the kiss of death to resurrect them. So someone is asleep, and because they're asleep, a lot of weird shit is happening, okay? X-Men shit. And in order for it to come to an end, 999, you know, balance needs to be restored and this person needs to be saved or given what the hell they need, okay? Because there's a lot of freaky shit that I... <laughs> I really get in a horrible um, energy here, but a very mysterious, what, what they call unrealistic shit, okay? At the bottom of the deck, okay, hold on. I want to see the bottom of the deck. I want to Alright, so this could be someone you met during the winter time, okay? As well as I'm getting, like I said, strong water placements, okay? Cancer, Pisces, okay? So this could be, um... I got cold to wet. So I feel like this person was, like, really cold, okay? Which explains the sleeping beauty frequency right there so you know i'm getting you know life is like a fairy tale for that once upon a time sleeping beauty frequency so i feel someone needs to be kissed okay someone is feeling rather cold okay they're asleep that's because bitch is asleep okay and she needs to wake the hell up you know sometimes anger can put us to sleep <laughs> Sometimes hatred can put us to sleep, and it is our responsibility to, um, or rather, the responsibility of each of us to care about each other, look out for each other, and save each other. Okay, and um, this kiss of death could in involve the nuptials, marriage. Okay, I'm getting strong Aries rise, right? and I'm not getting Aries sun. For this reading, no. As well as you guys could be getting married in the winter or something. Um, but I'm getting, like I said, I feel like someone is tormenting you or you're tormented by someone. But I feel like all this person they need is a kiss of death. To wake them up. Death is a transformation. It is not an absolute end. Okay? It's just a transformation. Whether it's transformation from, you know, consciousness to unconsciousness. Or transformation of con unconsciousness to consciousness. But it is a transformation. Okay? But yeah, I definitely got that. So dealing with water signs, okay? You're you got water highly aspected. They've got water highly aspected, okay? Mhm. Mm Let me see what this other one said. Is everything is everything okay? This is what frequency seven four one, okay? Awaken your intuition, okay? What else is this saying? Okay, I forgot I got my lighter. Fuck, you know what? Okay, solutions. So I just gave you your solution. That's what it said. Okay, so 
from cold to wet so i feel like you got to take it in steps with this person take your time and um soften them up a bit it's not gonna happen wham okay no pain no gain so you got um what was this again i'm struggling to see so you've got um in the winter okay water signs um from cold to wet and we've got you know um awaken your intuition and you will find the solutions okay which is to open up your heart chakra no pain no gain so i feel like this is something that you have to really really put aside your pride to you know accomplish this is something you know who means a great deal to you okay and it says no pain no gain okay so that's what i got for you aries okay namaste that's your frequencies energies waves and currents okay that's what's surrounding you right now tormentation but you know balance your chakras meditate listen to your intuition and the solutions will come to you as to exactly how it is that you are going to awaken the sleeping beauty okay you must stay